In this video, we'll talk about rRNA, that is ribosomal RNA, and certain other things related to all nucleic acids. So, rRNA, that is ribosomal RNA, it is associated with protein. So, it is RNA associated with proteins. And it is also considered, the rRNA is also considered the largest RNA. Now, how it is associated with proteins and what exactly is the structure of this rRNA is not clearly understood. So here, we don't have any structure to discuss as we did in case of mRNA and tRNA. So this, because it is associated with ribosomes and proteins, it helps in protein synthesis. So this is what we know about rRNA, largest. We talked about all other RNAs also, that is mRNA and tRNA. We said tRNA is known as soluble RNA because it dissolves or it is soluble in NaCl solution. So these are important things about RNAs. Now let us talk about some other important general uh, things related to all nucleic acids together. That means here we will be talking about DNA as well as RNAs. All these are important in terms of a competitive exams because many a times they ask such kind of questions also. tRNA is the smallest, we have already talked about it and it is also known as soluble RNA. This one is also known as adapter RNA. tRNA is also called adapter RNA. Then, one more thing is about DNA. A part of DNA which synthesizes or it can be a gene which synthesizes a protein is known as a cistron. So that part which is responsible for synthesizing one polypeptide or a protein is called a cistron. If one segment of RNA which is having that code which is synthesizing one protein, we call it monocystronic. This is seen in case of mRNA. That means a segment of mRNA or one mRNA which is synthesizing only one protein. Then it will be called monocystronic. So it synthesizes one protein or polypeptide. The other thing is polycystronic that means one segment has multiple genes or segments of DNA coded which synthesize for many proteins. So here there are many proteins or polypeptide then it will be termed as polycystronic. Another important thing which we need to know about DNA is there is something called C value. C value is the total DNA content on one set of chromosomes. Total DNA on one set. And we know that the set is represented by N, that is haploid number of chromosome. That DNA is represented as C value. So if we say a cell has one cell or a cell is haploid, then the C value is just C, one C. And if a cell is diploid, then the DNA content is going to become double. So we say the C value is 2C. This C value is given or expressed in picograms. Another important thing about DNA, we have studied the structure of DNA given by Watson and Craig. And according to that structure, the distance between two consecutive base pairs is 3.4 angstroms. In human genome, human genome has 3 billion base pairs. And if between two 
consecutive base pairs, the distance is 3.4 angstroms, then the length of this DNA, which is on genome, human genome, is going to be approximately 2.2 meters. And how are these long DNAs condensed into a small nucleus in a small cell? That is because of the packaging where the nucleosome formation and the coiling of DNA takes place. Human genome means one set of chromosomes. That means again haploid. So this, these are few things about DNA. One more thing. Certain DNAs are mobile. Certain fragments of DNA. So we can call them mobile DNA or they are also termed as jumping genes. As they are able to change their position from one place to another, they are called mobile or jumping genes. So these are few important things. One more thing we said we'll discuss later on was about the normal DNA type and RNA type and the variations. Normal DNA is double stranded. Normal RNA is single stranded. This we have already discussed. Now we are talking about certain exceptions in which the DNA is single stranded and RNA is double stranded. Now where do we find this normal thing? Normal double stranded DNA is the most common type of DNA which is found in almost all except those exceptions which we will be discussing. Single stranded RNA, which is again a common thing as we talk of RNAs, the RNAs which are present in most of the cells, they are single stranded RNAs. Now we are talking of the exceptions. DNA is single stranded in, so single stranded DNA is found in group 2 viruses. When we discuss the uh, structure of virus and classification, there is a classification which is known as Baltimore's classification. So according to this Baltimore's classification, the group 2 viruses, these viruses which are bacteriophages as we know, they infect E. coli or bacteria. So this virus which is kept in group 2 according to Baltimore's classification, they have single stranded DNA. The example which we can talk of is coliphage virus which infects the bacteria or phi 174. So these are the examples where we are finding the DNA as genetic material but that DNA is single stranded. This is an exception because most common DNA is a double stranded DNA. Now as we know that most common type of RNA is single stranded RNA. The place where we find BS RNA that is double stranded RNA are again certain viruses and here the example is Rio virus. This Rio virus has double stranded RNA as genetic material. And if we talk of the common things, we have already said that the DNA, wherever we find it, is double stranded DNA and RNA is single stranded. This single stranded RNA as genetic material is found in TMV, that is tobacco mosaic virus, even in HIV, which is the virus uh, having RNA as genetic material. Now few more things. Uh, as we have written about mobile DNA here, let us also talk of naked DNA. The DNA which is without histone proteins. So DNA without histone proteins is known as naked DNA. These are certain things on which questions are asked 
and these are related to the nucleic acids. So RNA and other important things. We have also talked about the structures of other two RNAs that is mRNA, tRNA in detail and also discussed the structure of DNA which was given by Watson and Crick. So this completes our nucleic acid.